Hello everyone, it's Butter Bob. And I'm in Knoxville, Tennessee at the UT Medical Center. And I just got a uh, cardiac artery uh, calcium score test at the uh, Heart, Lung, and Vascular Institute there behind me. You can see it. Just got the score, got my records from the uh, medical center. And I wasn't extremely happy about it. But uh, I didn't get a zero like a lot of people do. I got a 19. And we're going to discuss that more in the next scene of this video. I'll be in, at home and we'll be able to really uh, discuss why I got this test. And what it means and why I think you should get it. And while I'm here in Knoxville, I just want to say that here, at least here in Tennessee at the UT Medical Center, I was able to schedule this test without a referral from a doctor. I just walked right into this place over here. Well, I actually called them ahead of time, scheduled the test. I paid $99 out of my pocket, went upstairs. The test took maybe five minutes. I was out and uh, they would have mailed my results to me, but I, I was anxious and I came back down here to Knoxville to, to pick up the records and I have them here. I got my little CD, got my written score which we're going to talk about in the next scene of this video the last scene that we uh that you saw was me in knoxville it was uh in the mid part of uh september and i took a little break from the channel from videos from everything for a little while so here it is october and i'm just getting this uh video done uh, no conspiracy, no reason why. I just need a little break from this uh, project sometimes, and I took it. And uh, the reason I went and got this test is that I know a person, and I've known them since we were both very young, a person that didn't smoke, didn't chew, didn't drink, didn't run with them that do, never overweight, never used it, uh, drugs, never did anything really except live a pretty good clean life. And this person had a stroke. And when I got to thinking about that, I thought, you know, the kind of life that I've lived uh, was not that healthy. I was overweight. I ate really bad. I I've treated my body very badly over the years until I got on this diet. And so it scared me. I, I wanted to know. I wanted to know what the real uh, state of my heart was, the inside. And because I have a lot of contacts in the diet world, uh, uh, I hit on this uh, uh, art, uh, cardiac artery calcium score test because the test has been shown to be a very accurate test that tells you the state of your heart and what kind of shape it's in. Uh, you know, heart attacks are the number one killer. Heart disease is the number one killer. It kills more than all other diseases put together. More than cancer. More than all the cancers put together, if you want to know the truth. And here's the thing that a lot of people don't know. A third of people who have heart attacks their first time, there are no symptoms, they die. Their first symptom that they're going to have a heart attack is that they had a heart attack and they die. But you know there is a test that you can go take, and that's the test I took, that you can walk in, make an appointment, call them, walk in, and about five minutes after you get there, uh, you're going to be on a little table, you're going to run through a CT machine, a high-speed CT, and you're not going to have to get undressed. You don't have to uh, take shots or do anything special. And this high-speed CT is going to take a look at your heart. It's so fast that it can see your heart in between beats. And it can see calcium that has been deposited in your arteries. And if there has been calcium deposited in your arteries, you have heart disease. 
Now, a lot of big famous low carvers have gotten this test and they have found that they had a zero score, but I'm not one of them. And I keep it real on this channel. I got a 19. And that 19 puts me at, uh, according to the paper, about 60 percentile for my age group. In other words, I'm, I'm midway high for my age. Did the diet cause this? I don't think it did. But I'm going to make sure that I get a test, at least for the next few years, every year, and see if my score goes up. Because the number one, the number one thing about this score is, is that people who have, first of all, everybody's score goes up as they get older. Uh, everybody's score, everybody's calcium score, more than likely, goes up as they get older. But the rate that your score goes up tells a lot about your risk. Uh, people who have a rate that goes up faster than 15% per year have heart attacks and heart-related events at a very much higher rate than people whose calcium score uh, progresses 15% or less per year. So I'm going to keep an eye on this thing. And I'm going to show you my actual, actual results here in a second. I'm going to sh I want to show you this heart scan because I think it's important you see it and how important it is and how easy it is to get this score and how and why you should get it. Because, you know, guys, uh, without this score, how would you know about your heart attack risk? Uh, did you know most people who have uh, a heart attack have normal cholesterol? Normal. And, but they have a heart attack anyway. People may be all right in, in every way. And, and this hidden uh, danger is inside of them and they don't know it. And there's a few ways they can do it. They could go in and actually look. They could, they could uh, go through your groin and they could go in there and look around, which is a, a very basically dangerous uh, procedure. Or you can have this simple, painless test that you can walk in, pay your money for, and you got it. And you know. And even if your score is bad, even if your score is, is bad, as long as you're watch it and see that it's not going up, and you can do this by diet and lifestyle changes, you can watch your risk, you can manage your risk of a heart attack. And here's another thing, if you get a very bad score, but you've had no symptoms, all of a sudden you know, you know you're at extreme risk and you need to do something about it quickly. You can go to a doctor, you can say, look, I, I'm in danger. Uh, Regardless of our lifestyle, we need to know this because this is one thing that uh, is not very well known. This test is not very well known. But just like uh, women get uh, mammograms and people get uh, sugar tests and people get all these little tests and these simple tests can tell them that if they have a, something really wrong with them, Simple test, simple, even inexpensive test. This is that for heart. Because this simple, inexpensive test can really give you the truth about your heart. I got a score of 19 on my calcium score test. What does that mean? I want to read you what it means exactly before we show the test. It means that plaque is present. You have mild heart disease. Your chances of having a heart attack is moderate. That's what my score means. Uh, if I'd had a score of zero, well, let's just do the whole spectrum here. If I had zero, that means I'd have less than 5% chance of having heart disease. And my risk of a heart attack would be almost nothing if I'd had a zero score. 
If I'd have had a score between 1 and 10, I would have a small amount of plaque, and my chance of having a heart attack would be about 10%. And my, my chance would be very low. My, my risk would be very low. For people who have uh, 100 to 400, they have a moderate amount of plaque present, and they have heart disease. And that heart disease may be bad enough that it is actually blocking an artery. Now, a person that has a score over 400 means that they have a lot of plaque uh, present in their arteries. And you have a 90% chance that you have uh, one of your arteries is blocked, at least to some extent, if you have this high score on calcium score. And here's the thing. If a person has uh, between 100 and 300 on this score, they have almost eight times more likely to have a heart attack than a person that has zero. And if a person has over 300, they have 10 times more risk of having a heart attack than a person with zero. Now these are my, this is my actual test, and I'm going to play it and uh, just tell you what you're looking at. First of all, what you're about to see is the uh, the scan is going from my shoulder area up in here down towards my feet. So each frame that you're going to see is from the top of my heart going downward. And uh, that'll be progressed. A few of the places where I've got calcium, I put two or three pictures and we, we did a little bit, uh, I, I zoom in a little bit so you can see it a little bit better so you can see what we're looking for and what we're looking at. So here we go. The first frame is at the very top of my uh, heart area. The darker areas is my lungs. So here we go. There's the top first frame. Now we're going to the second frame and you can see that I've got calcium built up uh, right there where that yellow arrow is, where I've got it circled. That's a calcium in one of my arteries. Here's zoomed out so you can see a uh, better perspective of my body. Uh, you can see the shoulder, uh, my shoulders, or my backbone. The, you can see on the calcium, where calcium is, like when your bone, where your bones are, you can see where my backbone is. You can see my sternum and my ribs. The heart's there in the middle. The yellow arrow is, is pointing towards uh, the calcium. Uh, it's in my heart. And that's just the view of this, that's that same frame showing you that frame there, that calcium in that artery. Okay, we got a, you can see it circled there. That's also going out. We went down one frame. Okay, then you'll see that we're going to go down in a fast progression to these other frames. You're going down into my heart, lower and lower towards my feet, and there's no calcium in this area, at least I don't see it. We're going down really fast, going down really fast. Now we're going to slow down, and you'll see that there's maybe a little to the uh, left side there, and you're going to get the arrow here. Now there's another calcium built up. This is another look at it, a little closer look at the calcium build. And there's zoomed out so you can see it a little bit better. Then we'll go down a frame and we have a little there. Then probably nothing much. There's a little bit there. I can see it a little bit better. Then we're going to zoom down through my heart where I don't have very much. Now, it doesn't seem like I have a whole lot, but unfortunately for me, and there you go on that, my test here says that the score play, pay, uh, places the patient in the 60th percentile adjusted for age and gender. There are small foci of calcification noted in the left anterior descending, which I've read is the uh, Widowmaker 
artery. And the score in that artery was an 11. And the left circumflex, a score of 8. Uh, basically, I have calcium in uh, uh, an 11, score of 11 in the uh, arteries that feed that side of my heart. Now, this is not a terrible score, but it sure isn't a good one. So my plan to get better is continue to upgrade my food, make sure that I'm getting better food. I, I'm going to, to become a little bit of a food snob for myself. I'm going to also begin taking some vitamin K2, which this is just my experiment because K2 is uh, known to uh, have an effect on calcium in your body. And I'm going to just basically maybe exercise a little bit more than I have been. I'm going to just keep an eye on this thing. Here's the thing. I believe I've already done a great deal of help for myself. I, I, I believe that. Because from everything I can read, heart disease, heart disease is in the uh, insulin resistance uh, family of diseases. Uh, you'll, you'll know that uh, if, if a person has diabetes, they are much more likely to have heart disease. So if I can get this test pretty easy here in Tennessee, I'm sure that wherever you are, you can get this test, especially here in the United States. I think it's a little bit more expensive uh, in Europe, uh, but I got this test without a referral from a doctor. I just made an appointment, called them up, got their number off the internet, called them up, went there, got this done, and you can too. Probably, probably wherever you are in, in your state, you can get this done, and you should get it done. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.